Today we're taking a look at Trader Joe's versus King Arthur flour, trying to see which one makes a better bread. I've got a bread maker that kind of does this for me, so all the ingredients are the same except for the flour, and we're really trying to isolate to see if that really makes a difference or if we're all just being lied to and you should just buy the cheapest one. So the King Arthur one, it looks actually quite a bit different than the one from Great Value, and this is one I made previously, so I'm just going to hold them up kind of next to each other and show you that the grain's a little bit different, the bubbles are smaller on the one from Great Value, and the flavor was quite different. And I'll go into that more a little bit later. But here's the Trader Joe's one. It was a little bit warm at the time. We'd only let it cool off for about an hour just because this was pretty late at night. I didn't want to keep filming. So we let it sit overnight. I actually didn't put this on camera. And it kind of hardened up. And the bubbles were a little more even the next day. But it kind of tore this time around. So that's why there's a big discrepancy here between the two. But the texture and the flavor once it cooled off were quite a bit different from the King Arthur and the Great Value one. I think the Trader Joe's one was lighter, fluffier almost had a better like creamy taste to it that really nice like when you bite down on the bread it kind of just sinks in instead of just crumbles in your mouth and when you compare that to the one from great value which was really rigid it didn't really have any elasticity to it like, so, like if you squeeze down on the bread it would just kind of break it and it wouldn't kind of bounce back like the one from trader joe's would the king arthur flour kind of made the bread basically in between trader joe's and great value so it was better than great value i think by a long shot the flavor was better to it but it was kind of similar in texture where it was more rigid than it was soft and pillowy and even the next day everything kind of held up the same i actually ended up making two loaves of the king arthur bread just to make sure i didn't screw anything up and it was the exact same the first and second time so i think this is a pretty good representation of what they would turn out like every time Overall though, I think Trader Joe's does win by a mile and kind of on this whole quest to find the best flour, I've been doing different criterion things. This time around, I'm not gonna go into depth because I feel like it didn't really add anything like it did last time. But overall, Trader Joe's is the better one.